<laughs> it's, it's Tuesday. It's Taco About It Tuesday. And it would not be Tuesday without the taco song. <laughs> right? Cheese, 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 cheese. Oh, I swear. Like, I literally, I think I can't have a bad day with the taco song. It just, it makes me, it makes me really, really laugh. So, today we have a couple good things to talk about. And, uh, and the hashtag for today is bad egg. Bad egg. We are gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about bad eggs today and silly trends and the things that make us go, what though? Like, par pardon now? So first thing we're gonna do because I'm starving and we're talking eggs today and it's Taco Tuesday. We're gonna make a taco flavored egg cup because Dory's starving to death. Like, death is impending. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm like, I'm wilting away as we speak. Like, I, I might die in like, I don't know, like five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. I got five minutes, guys. So we better eat something. So we're just going to do a quick, easy egg bowl because, again, Dory is starving. So let's do it. So we're going to take one egg. I'm going to add some taco seasoning. That's why it's going to be a taco egg. Let me grab a little spoon to do this with I don't know why I leave this to the last moment when I'm like dying I, I do you guys do this to you like is this at your house where you're like I oh got I'm gonna die in like five minutes if I don't eat like no seriously like actually though I'm, I'm not kidding like I'll die <laughs> or, or is that just just me no it's probably just me so now I've got my taco seasoning I'm going to pop it in the microwave. I like for my egg to be a little bit gooey in the middle. So I cover it and I put it in for about 30 seconds, maybe 40. Clear off this. And so the first thing we're going to talk about today, guys, is this egg deal. Like, I don't know if you've even seen the deal about this egg thing. Like, I, I don't even know. It is. It makes me laugh. Like. It makes me laugh. So originally, it started out as somebody with a really good sense of humor, I think, like a really good sense of humor, posted a picture of a brown egg, just an egg, and said, hey, let's break the world record, you know, let's get more likes on this egg than Kylie Jenner, which, you know what, I respect, that's that's ambitious, right? That's That's ambitious, but then the world blew up over the egg, like the brown egg, and the egg got like 40 million likes. And then Ellen was like, I could do something funny with this. I could put a face on an egg. And then, <laughs> and then it gets really crazy. Let me grab our egg. Oh goodness. So I've got, my egg is just a little bit gooey on the middle. And I think I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna put it in for another five seconds. Like I want, I'm gonna tell you guys a secret. I like drippy egg. I don't like the boogery bits. And we're going to call them that because, let's be honest, it looks like booger. Like, let's be honest for two seconds, you know? We could pretend. I could be like, oh, Dory, don't don't say booger. But that's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what it looks like on your egg. It looks like booger, and I don't want that. But I don't want to fully cook the yolk either. So it's kind of like that, you know, right in between, right in between thing. So I'm gonna leave this just for about uh, five, 10 seconds just to continue to cook a little bit in there. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna add some bacon and cheese and that's gonna be our taco egg. So um, I'm gonna add some bacon fat to that too while it's in there. Let's add some, we're gonna add some on top too. I'm not gonna lie because um, hello, bacon fat. Like, I, I don't know if you've, <laughs> if you haven't, you know, tried bacon fat. I don't know if we could really be friends. Like I still want to love you, but you might have to run out and try it and then we could be friends again. <laughs> so I just, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the silliness of the trends and the things that people will latch on to. And I think, I think although it makes me giggle and, and I find it very amusing, 
at the end of the day, I think it, it frustrates me as well because I feel like I feel like keto and the way that we live, the way that we enjoy to eat is somehow being put into this weird category next to the bad egg. Like it's all of a sudden, oh, it's a trend. It's the newest fad. It's, you know, it's going to phase out. It's really not that healthy for you because, you know, like if you do keto for a while and you lose a bunch of weight and then you go off it, you're going to gain that back. So, you know, it's probably, it's probably better to not like, do you know what? If you just don't like, how about we don't lose a hundred pounds and feel really good about ourselves and feel healthy because you know what? At the end of the day, when we stop eating this way, we're going to gain that back. So I, I'm going to say, let's just don't like, you know what? Let's not get off a bunch of medications. Let's not, you know, feel healthier and more vibrant and stronger than we have in years. Let's just not because you know what? If, if one day I decide I don't want to keto anymore, then I'm going to gain all that weight back. So I, I'm just going to put it out there to you guys and I'm going to say, let's not even bother right? Like, let's don't even bother. Like, why would, why would we totally bother getting healthy and feeling better? And, you know, if we're just gonna go off plan and gain it back anyways, right? Like, let's don't even bother. We could just totally be fat and unhealthy together. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I did that for, you know, plenty of my life. Like, you know, the same the same old, same old standard American diet they're peddling here and there and everywhere is the same standard American diet that kept me fat, got me fat, you know, got me addicted to sugar and carbs. So how about we just don't? Because you know what? There's a surgence of people who are getting really healthy and, and they're really happy and you know what? They're getting off all of their medications and you know what? We could just don't do that. Like we could just don't do that instead. I mean, we could just follow the trend and we could just keep doing it like we've been doing it. I mean, really, I was fat for 20 years. I, I know that trend well enough. I, I know how to follow that trend. Why do it? <laughs> you wanna? And, and here's the stupid question. Cause duh, no. No, once you've lived this way and you've experienced, you know, freedom with your food and feeling better, it, it seems laughable to even say, oh, well, you know what, it's just one donut or it's just one this or how do you live without carbs? Now, we're going to put this in for five seconds just to melt my cheese because I want melty cheese. But notice how I didn't overcook the egg so that at the end I could put the cheese on it and cook it because um, I'm going to tell you guys a secret about me. I kind of cry when my eggs aren't dippy. Like I actually did that to my ex-boyfriend. Like if he would make me eggs and they weren't dippy, I would, I would cry. I would cry and then he'd feel bad and he'd be like, here, have one of my eggs. I'd be like, I don't want your egg. I want my own egg. I just, I just want it to be dippy. Is that so hard? <laughs> ah, the dippy egg you know the ever elusive dippy egg i i am all about it either you're about the dip or you're not like either you love the dip and you live for it or you're like ew why wouldn't you cook that all the way that's gross like you know that's like still raw right <laughs> oh so just quick, easy egg cup with taco seasoning, mozzarella cheese and bacon. And I'm going to call that taco for today. So let me get a scoop in there and you guys can see like, there we go. We got the, the gooey, the drippy, but, but not the boogery. Nobody, nobody wants to eat that. And then we put the extra bacon fat on because, um, bacon fat. Hello. <laughs> Hello, let me introduce you to my little friend. He's, he's told bacon and cheese, and he's all like ooey and gooey. And, and if you want to be his friend, Miss Jillian Michaels, I, I could totally introduce you, and, and we would be friends together. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. We could totally be frenzies. I would be frenzies. I would even share recipes. I'm not greedy, like, I'm just saying. I'm gonna share. So, the next topic, and it's kind of still the same topic, 
But this is one I want to laugh with you guys about. So I watched a video and maybe we should just watch it together because it, it seriously actually really made me giggle and it's only two minutes long. So why don't we just watch it? But it made me, it made me laugh. So it's, it's two minutes and this is, um, Jillian Michaels explaining how she feels about people being mean to her because they're really being mean to her since she said she doesn't like keto and, and that's not really very nice. Like they're just totally being mean to her. I'm going to eat while you guys watch. Sneaky. Things like our macromolecules, which is a really big fancy way of saying our cells. Your cells are made up of protein, fat, carbs, and nucleic acids. So, just on the most basic level, it should be common sense that this diet is not ideal. This diet can create micronutrient deficiencies with vitamins and minerals. It doesn't have enough fiber unless you're predominantly at base. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to talk about the necessity of calorie restriction when it comes to weight loss or even health and well being. Diets are very high in animal fat and animal protein. I'm sorry, I could go on and on. It, it's not just go. Look, you just go on. Cohen you do it. it way, right? This is a guy that called Savannah Guthrie dumb for doing the diet and then called me a, a jackhole uh, for saying don't do the diet. So in my opinion, like, I have a, a long-standing opinion on this guy's behavior, and I think he's a guy that just likes to attack women. I've said it for years. I think this is proof of that fact. So we'll put him proof. aside. Um, Total proof. Beyond that, look, keto is a trend that many billion dollar weight loss brands have have gone after, right? In a very big way, they want to ride that trend, whether it's supplements or saying like, hey, Weight Watchers is keto friendly, or, you know, we've got a keto protein powder and so on. So That's our fault, by the way, just saying. That a lot of people have banked a lot of money on, you're gonna get a lot of pushback. I mean, look, here, here's the bottom line. You know, if we're gonna talk about Al Roger and the Jersey Shore guy and Andy Cohen, Oh, we got to pause that for one second. Just for one second. Because the Jersey Shore guy, dude, I got your back. Polly D, hello, what? The Jersey Shore guy? Everybody knows he's Polly D. Don't even be playing that girl. You know who he is. I don't even watch the Jersey Shore. And I know it's Polly D. I got you, bro. I got you. Okay. We can, like, watch that. I'm offended by that. Like, the Jersey Shore guy. I don't even play like you don't know who he is. Don't even pretend, girl. You know who he is. Personal attacks. If we're going to have a debate about keto, let's have a debate about keto. But of course, when I invited them to do that, you know, both ran away with their tail between their legs, and I haven't heard a word since the day. Um, I say, man up, and if you want to have a fight, let's go toe to toe in a civilized way instead of a sucker punch, and then you go hide under your couch. Okay, so this is this is what irritates me. So, um, am am I the only one who's not buying the? Oh, all the boys are picking on me and they're really mean and nobody nobody wants to have a civilized conversation with me about keto I mean it's just all the boys picking on me because I'm a girl is anybody buying that like actually though no. like is anybody buying that oh I'm I'm the poor girl and all these mean boys are picking on me I I didn't say unreasonable things and I'm not unwilling to defend myself I'm just a girl Do, do we see the look on Dory's face? Dory gonna have a bite, cause Dory gonna say something, not go right now. Like, you just give me a minute, cause what? Oh, I'm just a girl, every pig at me. Mm. Okay. See that thought. So, any, anybody else been tagging Miss Julian Michaels like a crazy lady on every social media? Like, <laughs> or is, is that just me? Is that just, is that me? Like, I have seen multiple people in the keto community say that they are more than willing to sit down and discuss with her. I... I, I'm going to say this, guys. Don't even kid yourself. Do not kid yourself. If you think that every single leader in the keto community is not dying to be the first person that Jillian Michaels will sit down and have a civilized adult conversation with, you're crazy. Like, dude, people are climbing over their mama right now. Like, people, people are climbing over 
the mama to get a chance to sit down and talk to her. So don't play like, oh, nobody wants my side of the story. Nobody wants my opinion because I'm a girl. Okay. All right. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of, you know, very lovely women in our community who would be willing to sit down and, and talk with her. I, I, think, I think Naomi Whitell would love to have a chat with her about keto. Um, I don't know, Maria Emmerich is the sweetest human being I've seen in my life. Wouldn't hurt a fly. I'm, I'm pretty sure she would sit down and, and have a little chat. I mean, I, I get it if you don't want to sit down on the doctor panel with Jimmy. Like, dude, I get that. Like, girl, girl, I don't think I'd be like, that's it, Jimmy, let's go. You bring me your doctor panel, let's sit down, let's go. I mean, I get that. I, I get mama don't play like that. And I, I don't blame you, girl. I don't I don't blame you. I don't. But don't pretend like nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants your opinion. Everybody's just being everybody's just being mean. Uh, keto people are really mean. We picked on her. Like we picked on her. We were mean to her. We don't even want to listen to her side of the story or her opinion. And you know what? I'm I'm pretty sure everybody like <laughs> stand stand in line, girl. Stand in line. I literally don't think that there is one human being in this community that doesn't want to have a sit down, rational, adult conversation with Miss Jillian about her opinion. Like I'm sure everybody wants to stand in line, baby. Like who gets to be first? Oh my God. I want to know. Like let's, oh, let's take bets. Let's take bets. Oh my God. I want to see right now. Who do you guys think? Who do you think? Who, who do you think that Jillian would actually sit down and chat with about Keo? You know, like an adult style conversation, you know, without just mean boys calling you names and stuff. Who do you think she would actually talk to? Could we make a list? Like, I, I can't imagine anybody she would actually sit down and talk to. Like, <laughs> I can't. But I'm going to say this. Let's think of a list and then let's just start tagging them like crazy people. <laughs> because eventually, eventually, you sit down and chat with somebody, right? Like, eventually, and I find it kind of ironic that she says, well... You know, she approached them and everybody's just, you know, running away with their tail between their legs and nobody wants to actually talk about it. But, dude, have you seen social media? Like, have you turned on an Instagram? Have you looked at the Twitter? Like, have you, have you literally seen how the internet is breaking over this? Like, the internet is broken. People are very, very upset right now. Like... The, the internet is broken. People are upset, you know, and it, it makes sense. Everybody kind of wants an explanation. They'd love to just, you know, actually have a legitimate conversation. Nobody is saying, hey, you know, sit down and listen to everybody tell you you're wrong, but at least, at least open the conversation. Don't just say, oh, by the way, like, you know, that keto is really super unhealthy and it's not good for you and it's not sustainable. And by the way, um, it, it's probably going to cause things like, you know, liver deficiencies and cancer and, you know, lowered expectancy of death and then just walk away. Like, just walk away. Like, say your piece, walk away and be like, oh, nobody wants, nobody wants to talk to me because I'm just, I'm a girl. Is there any other girls that that makes angry? Like, is that, is that just me? Like, that make me some angry. Like, okay, did we fight for equality so that people could be like, oh, nobody wants my opinion. I'm just a girl. Oh, okay. I'm a girl too. I'm a girl. Like, <laughs> I'm a real girl even. Like, I don't like Pinocchio or anything. I'm a real girl. I'm a girl too. So if I state my opinion then it's only just because I'm a girl, right? Like, not because, you know, somebody might disagree with my opinion, but, you know, just because I'm a girl. 
how many years do you think that takes girl power back? Like, just, just, just asking, like, how many years do you think playing that card takes girl power back? Like, girl, you're fierce. You ain't scared of nobody. We all seen you yell at bigger, better people than that. You get right up in their face. Like, don't even pretend like you don't know how to bully and be mean to somebody because I didn't watch the show, but I saw the commercials and it was enough to make me go, how no? How no? <laughs> like, I didn't even watch the show, but the commercials were enough to make me go, how no? So if that's healthy, you know, if it's healthy to go on a challenge and try to lose the most weight possible and put your body through absolutely everything you can, starvation, exhaustion, everything you can just to get a number on the scale, that totally sounds healthy. You know what, guys? I think I was like, I think I was wrong. I think I was like, I think I was totally wrong because that sounds like, I don't know about you guys, that sounds like hell a lot of fun to me. Hell a lot of fun. Like, here, here, this is what we could do. We could just start tomorrow and we could do that instead. Do, do you wanna? Like, do, do you wanna? Oh, I'd rather build a snowman. Like, I'm just saying, I'd rather, I'd rather build a snowman. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to take this moment to scroll on Facebook and see what you guys are giggling about. Because, man, like, I don't, I don't even, like, I don't even, like, because I'm a girl. <laughs> like, I, just, I don't even, like, I just, I can't even. Oh, my goodness. When you laugh that hard, you need a Kleenex. Like, actually, though, like. It's laughable to me. It, it's so laughable to me when literally everybody in our community is reaching out to her. How, how many videos have you guys seen reacting to Jillian Michaels' video? How, ma how many doctor reaction videos have you seen? You know what? I, I, think probably, I think probably Dr. Ken Berry wouldn't want to talk to her. Or, you know what, Dr. Berg or Dr. Jason Fung. They probably, probably none of them want to talk to her. Like... Dude, everybody, like, everybody. She is like the most popular girl in the world right now. Everybody wants to hold her hand and sit down with her and chat with her. So who knows? Like maybe, maybe she'll chat with somebody or maybe she'll just play the I'm a girl card for ever. And I'm not bitter and that's all that really matters. Like, not bitter. <laughs> Deb says, me too, LOL. Leslie says, hi, Dory from Wisconsin. Hello, darling. Is it cold in the land of cheese? I love your cheese, by the way. I I love Wisconsin cheese. Like, I don't know if, if it's like specific to where you come from, but man, I can get Wisconsin cheese and it's a bomb. Like, I'm just saying. So yummy. If you don't love cheese, please don't be offended. I love the cheese. So it's really not saying a bad thing. Uh, Karen, gaining weight back is true of every diet I've been on, right? Like you can do any calorie restriction diet. You're going to gain that back if you stop eating that way. Ooh, it's snowy in Wisconsin. Mar <laughs> Mary says it's snowy. It's snowy here too. It's not awesome. I won't lie. I'm not, I'm not digging it. You know what? I'm, I'm digging it about as much as the, I'm a girl card. <laughs> like right now, eggs. Snow, I'm a girl. That's like right about the same level for me right now. Like, color me irritated today. Like, is it just me? Just me? Like, I mean, it's it's been a couple weeks now since, you know, the big hurrah and the big kerfuff. And, and still, there's no sit down with anybody. Like, I am sure everybody on the planet is willing to host her on their talk show and bring somebody who's actually keto and do that. Like the media frenzy is just waiting to frenzy itself. Like it's just, it's just a bubbling on itself right now. Um, Chris says, nope, not buying it. Not buying it. 
Because you know what? If there weren't such a thing as social media, if you couldn't turn on Twitter or Instagram and see that literally everybody in the keto community has reached out to her, then maybe you might buy that nobody wants her opinion. Nobody wants her side of the story. And nobody really wants to be nice and talk about it. They just want to be mean and bully her and call her names because that's what keto people do. I mean, we're, we're really kind of ignorant like that. Like, I don't... I, you know, I can't really defend us, you know, as a culture or like a, I don't know, a sub race, but we're pretty nasty. I'm just saying like keto people be like that. Like we just be like that. <laughs> they're also like mean spirited, you know, we're, we're very unkind people. We, we definitely don't want to sit down and have any kinds of chats or, you know, legitimate discussions. We, we just want to make people sit down, chain them to a chair and tell them, you know, how we're so right and they're so wrong. I mean, is that so bad? Like, really, at the end of the day, come on. Like, is that so bad? <laughs> I think I think most of us are pretty tolerant to people who eat other ways. Um, guess what? Some of us even live with them. <gasps> no. No. I have a dirty no keto eater that sleeps in my bed. What? That can't be. That couldn't possibly be because you know what? Keto people have no tolerance and we really can't be around people who don't eat like us. You know, we live in the bubble and we only want to hear our own opinions and people who agree with us. And, you know, we never make, you know, we never make any kind of adjustments for anyone else in our house or our lives or our family. I mean, we just, we just run around forcing that on everybody. Like, I don't know about you guys, but that's how I do it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how I do it. First, I start by telling people they're really stupid because I think that's like, I, I think honestly, that's the best way to get through to somebody is to tell them that they're stupid and that, you know, the things that they believe in are wrong. I think that's definitely your first approach. If you want to have a good, honest conversation with somebody about something, I think that to begin with, you should make very blind and sweeping accusations. And then I think you should just tell people that they're dumb. And common sense should tell you that it's not healthy. Like, you know, so I think really if you're trying to reach people with an honest, legitimate message, I say go that way. I, I definitely say go that way. I I say, you know what, go... Who wastes time on defense, right? Like, come on. You can spend all day long on damage control. Why wouldn't you just go for the jug, dude? <laughs> like, like, if, if you're going to take the time to shank somebody, you best go for the jug, right? Like, right there. Like, get it right in there. But in all honesty, like... Probably the best way to tell people that, you know, the way that they believe in eating, because, you know, lots of us, we've only been doing this for like five days, right? Like in the history, <clears throat> in the history of ever, there's nobody who's been able to maintain a ketogenic way of eating for more than like two weeks, probably, because it's very unsustainable. And like, I don't know if you know this or not, but you will like die without carbs, I, you know, I hate to break it to you, but that's what happens. You will, you will just die. That's all. Get down from there, cat. I'm looking at you. I can see you. You ain't fooling nobody either. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody either. You get down from there. You bad cat. And now, now I'm going to have to, I'm going to throw like the worst insult ever at him. I'm going to tell him, dude, you are a bad egg. You are a bad egg. I, I giggled to myself when I made the video promo for this. And I thought, you know, I don't really want to offend anybody. But I don't really think that that's that bad of an insult. Like, really, at the end of the day, I think there might be five people on planet Earth who think that I'm an all-around good egg is a compliment. Like, there might be five. So I was like, well, you know, it's not like I'm saying what I really want to say. <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like I'm doing that. Right? I'm not, I'm not doing that. I just said bad egg. Like, that's it. Hashtag bad egg. And you know what? Everybody is excited to talk to you, so why not just do it? Like, 
why not just sit down and have one legit conversation with one person? It doesn't really matter. Get down, cat. It doesn't really matter who it is. Just pick one. I mean, really, you could even pick who you think you could steamroll over or pick who you think is most famous. Nobody really cares. Everybody just wants to see that conversation. Like, I think... Oh, hands up if you're in the... I'd pay $5 to see that. Like, I'm just saying right now. Like, if they put that on pay-per-view and they charge $5 and she actually sat down and had a real legitimate conversation with anybody in the keto community, and, and I'm putting that out there as like an open challenge, literally anybody... Um, I, I'm going to say pick a, pick a lady who's been keto for two weeks and doesn't even know all this stuff and they would talk to her. I would still pay $5 to see it. Like I just, I think at some point you can't say you want to have a conversation and then never have like, cause again, I'm just a girl. Every picks on me cause I'm a girl. <laughs> oh my God. That's, that's so grade two, dude. Oh my God, that's so grade two. <laughs> Jimmy picked on me because I'm a girl. And and really, that's it. nobody. Well, they did call her a jackhole. But you know what? Like, come on. You can't expect to not. Like, that's worse than bad egg. I'm just saying. I'm nicer. I just put that out there. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm nicer. <laughs> And she says, she's like a rabid dog ready to bite any keto. Yeah, and I don't think she's ready to play nice. Like, I don't think she actually want to play nice and sit down and talk to anybody. Because I think enough people have offered to sit down and play nice and talk to her. That if she actually wanted to do that, I think that probably would have happened. Like... If not happened, we'd be hearing promos for it, right? Like, for the next two weeks, we'd be like, the debate is on. Jimmy Moore sits down with Jillian Michaels. You wanted it, you're getting it, right? <laughs> like, oh my goodness, if it was gonna happen, somebody somewhere would be talking about that. Like, somebody somewhere would be like, oh my God, Jillian, Jillian's gonna talk to me. She's totally going to talk to me and, and we're going to talk and stuff and she's probably not going to listen to me, but, but we're going to do it anyway, but we're doing it. Like, honestly, if that was in the world somewhere, there is some person who'd be like, I'm that good. You don't know. You don't know. She don't want to talk to you. Oh, maybe, maybe cause you're not awesome like me, but she want to talk to me though. She want to totally want to talk to me cause, cause I'm a girl. <laughs> Oh my God, Dory, don't do that. Oh my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Like, wow, wow. And and I will say that in the post that I made about this live, I did also tag her in this one too. And it has the video where Jimmy and Dr. Will Cole very cordially invited her to come sit down and have an actual legitimate conversation on his podcast, which I've seen that video more than one time. It's up on the internet. I'm pretty sure she's seen it. I know she was tagged in it. And why no secret? Why no secret? Why know how I know she saw it? I sent it to her. <laughs> I know. Oh my god, I totally did, dude. Like, I actually did. <laughs> now, I don't know if she actually viewed the message or not, but I sent it, so... I know that much. Like, I know she saw the video where Jimmy said, come and talk on the, on the podcast. Cause I sent it to her. So I know she did. <laughs> Pretend like nobody want to talk to you. Everybody want to talk to you, girl. Like literally everybody want to talk to you. So I say talk to somebody like I don't even really care who it is. There's no point in even saying, oh, come talk to me, Miss Jillian, because we both know that's not going to happen. <laughs> like, and also I already messaged and asked and she didn't respond. So it's probably not going to happen. But, you know, like, hey, maybe like tag her like a crazy lady and be like, Dory's fun. Dory will be nice to you. Dory won't pick on you because I won't. I'm, I'm really nice. I've done lives with people who didn't believe in keto before more than one time. Like, 
<laughs> more than more than one time because I really I feel like at the end of the day if we're promoting healthy eating we're all winning right if you're not promoting the standard American diet if you're not promoting garbage foods if we are you know moving towards a healthier way of eating I feel like we're all winning like I I can't say I don't support all healthy eating. I do. I I support, you know, the vegans as equally as I do the carnivores and everything in between right from the middle in my keto land where I love it, where it makes me happy. <laughs> where I have all this awesome energy and excitement around me every day and I love all of my food. Like, you probably don't want to do that. I'm just going to put it out there and I'm going to say, you probably don't want to have as much fun as I do. You probably don't want to feel as good as I do. You probably don't want to enjoy your food as much as I do. Maybe you don't like food. Maybe, maybe Jillian just doesn't like food. Maybe she's a food hater. Maybe, maybe, maybe she just hates food. And, and if that's the case, we, we really couldn't be friends. I'm just saying, like, I don't think we would be friends anyways, but... You know, I'm open, I'm friendly, I would, you know, I would at least chat about it. <laughs> oh my goodness, hang on one second. I'm getting my cold back, guys, like, can you believe that? It just finally went away, and it's coming back again. I'm like, what? I ate a bunch of vitamin C last night before bed, but it didn't go away instantly. I don't know why that is. It's kind of like when you eat keto for two days, but you don't lose any weight. I probably am going to have to do that for more than, like, one time, right? Maybe. Yeah, probably. I'm also drinking lemon today, which we're we're actually like, I can't really tip it without like spilling it. So we're not going to do that. But I'm literally drinking clear liquid. This is not coffee. It is real lemon packets. <laughs> Cause, well, because these are the things we do, right? We take vitamin C and we eat lemon. And also I'm going to take some echinacea and then, and then I might prey on it. <laughs> oh, please, dear God, if you don't let me get sick, I'll make extra lives this week. <laughs> I think I should like, I think that's a fair bargain. What do you think? I think that's like, I think that's, I think God is getting a better deal than I am because all he's doing is not making me sick. And then I'm doing awesome stuff. So I really feel like, I really feel like he's getting the better end of that deal. So, you know, I don't really want to complain though, because you know, you, you don't want to be a whiner. <laughs> oh, yeah. God doesn't have time for your sickness story. God's too busy to worry about your cold. He's got like, you know, world peace and, you know, cancer and stuff to worry about. Like, he doesn't care about your common cold. <laughs> Pray on it anyways. You never know. <laughs> Karen says she doesn't want to talk to anyone because she knows she can't defend her position. And that's my argument, right? Like, that's my argument. If you really, 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 like, heart and soul believed in what you believe in, you would stand in line to talk to everybody. I do. <laughs> I do. I I don't uh, chat to random strangers at Walmart. Okay, maybe I do that. <laughs> okay, maybe I. Okay, you caught me. I do that. <laughs> at Christmas time, I had an awesome conversation with a lady. She was standing in the aisle and she was very upset and frustrated. And I was like, "Are you having a bad day?" And she's like. All my kids eat different diets and they're all coming for Christmas and I don't know what I should make. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I do keto diet. She's like, oh my God, one of them does that. One, and she's like, here's the irony. At my house, I have a one keto, one carnivore, and one vegan. What am I going to make for supper? And I was like, a lot of tears. <laughs> like... A lot of tears and pieces of your broken, shattered soul, mama. Good luck with that. Love you. <laughs> good, good luck. 
Good luck with that. We had a lovely chat though. And, and I think at the end of it, she was actually going to try the keto because she's like, you know, all my kids do different stuff. But my son on the keto is, you know, actually look, losing the most weight. So I think I might, you know, try that out. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, my goodness. Angie says uh, she wants the free publicity to peddle and promote her book and keep her relevant. Yeah, as the keto movement is affecting her pocketbook. Bye bye girl. Bye bye. And you know what? I don't think I can disagree with that one either. Like at the end of the day, it's hurting the bottom line. Keto hurts the bottom line. It hurts the food processing industry. It hurts big pharma. I how many medications do you guys not take anymore? Cuz you know what? We could totally stop keto. Like Nobody's making us. Nobody is making us keto. We could wake up tomorrow and decide we would rather have our medications than our keto. Who's in? Like, I'm going to say probably nobody. <laughs> probably nobody. Like, if you're looking at keto as a diet for weight loss and you just want to lose 20 pounds and then you want to go back to how you used to eat, then maybe she's right. Maybe keto isn't the right choice for you because it, it isn't it isn't a diet. It isn't a temporary, you know what, I'm going to do this for six months. I'm going to lose 50 pounds. And then guess what? Once I've lost that weight, it's magic, right? Like, I don't know if you understand about goal weight or not, but when you reach it, then from that point on for the rest of your life, you could just eat whatever you want and then you never gain any weight because you did a diet and you got to goal weight and then you can just eat whatever you want, right? Because you're at goal weight and you're never going to gain any of that weight back because you spent a whole year losing it. So now, now you can just, I don't know, go back to all the foods that made you fat in the first place, but now they won't anymore. They don't anymore because it's the magic of the goal. Like when you hit that like goal weight, it's like magic and you never get fat again. Like I, I don't know about you. Maybe you didn't discover the secret. Maybe I shouldn't even be telling you. Maybe I shouldn't even be telling you. I don't think I should have told you. Shh, don't tell anybody else. It'll be our secret. And then we'll be the only ones who will know. And then, and then we could just do whatever we want. Like Lord of the Flies style, dude. Like Lord of the Flies. I could lose all my weight and I could be at goal weight. And then I could totally eat donuts because like goal weight. Hello. Hello. And then I would never gain any of it back. But then if I did, it wouldn't be my fault. It would be keto. It would be keto because I stopped doing it. So it would certainly be responsible for the weight that I gained back. I think that really makes a lot of sense. I think we should put this into perspective. And I think that we should say it's kind of like if you're dating one guy and then you break up with him and you get a new boyfriend and then you get pregnant. It's probably the first boyfriend's fault that you got pregnant because you're not dating him anymore. And if you were still dating him, you wouldn't be pregnant. Ding! <laughs> I got, I'm feeling pretty smart right now. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that like the best analogy ever? Or is that just Dory and my impending cold fogging with my brain? I think it was pretty genius though. Like, I say like, Shh a mark on that because I think that was pretty good <laughs> and also I'm very humble about when I make my own jokes like I'm also very humble I will tell you guys um, when I made the promo up last night I sent it to a couple of my closest friends because hello you have to laugh with your friends and I made up the egg thing and, and I won't lie like I laughed to myself for like a half an hour and I was like you know what, I don't know if anybody else is going to get the joke or not. But it's almost funnier when nobody else gets the joke. You know? You know, when you're like... 
you're the only one laughing, but you're laughing really, really hard, like really hard. And then when people ask you to explain it, you can't because you've got like tears rolling down your face and like snot bubbles coming out because really you are that funny. Like when you're that funny, it's, it's really hard to explain the joke. And then people look at you. Now I I've seen this look once or twice. Okay. So I'm going to do my best impression of it. I've seen it like, okay, maybe five times. Like, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. So they look at you like this. It looks just like that. <laughs> it looks, oh my God. It looks, it looks just like that. And then, and then you're just laughing and the tears and they're just like, and you can't stop. Like, and it just, I think there's, I think there's something that's even funnier about a joke that only I get. I'm like, that's just cause you're not funny like me. If you were, if you were funny like me, we'd be, we'd be laughing together right now. Like I'm just saying, you know, I wouldn't be laughing by myself. We'd be, we'd be enjoying this role of laughter together, but you're lame. So, you know, apparently not. <laughs> And then sometimes they laugh too, but it's really kind of at you and not with you, but that's still a win. As far as I'm concerned, that's still a win. Oh, I tell my guy that all the time. We laugh together a lot. Like we laugh together a lot. Sometimes he's laughing at me. Sometimes I'm laughing at him. But as far as I'm concerned, if we're in the same room and one of us is laughing, that counts. Like that counts. We we have a lot of fun together. <laughs> and that's my rule of success. If if one of us is laughing, that's you know, I won. You know, sometimes it's me, sometimes it's him, sometimes my cat won't get down. Yeah. Actually though. I don't know why. Like I, I don't know why he hates me so much. I, I feed him and everything. Like, he even gets treats. I bought him presents for Christmas. Like, do you guys buy presents for your cat? Am I the weirdest person in the world? I bought a present for my cat. Like, <laughs> and still, and still I get this. This. Ungrateful feline. Come here, ungrateful. Come say hello. He just wants to be a pain. He doesn't actually want to say hi. He's, he's shy, but he just really wants to be a pain in my butt. Although I won't lie, I actually kind of feel like just going over there, scooping him up and making him. Like, you know, Diana style when I let her just bug him and be like, that's what you get. That's, that's, that's what you get, cat. That'll, that'll learn you. It probably won't. He doesn't listen. And you know what? I think... I think it's a language barrier. I think he doesn't understand me. I feel like he should. I mean, he knows all the good words like pate and treats and outside, but apparently he doesn't know what don't shit in my bed means. Yeah, he did that when we were on vacation because he was mad. He was mad. And Al defended him. He was like, well, he was kind of locked in there for a while. And I was like, dude, there are plenty other places to poop. He, he could have pooped in the corner. He could have, like, I don't see that towel over there. He could have pooped on that. He did not have to crawl right in the middle of the bed and poop. But, again, how do you show your displeasure when you have no language feature? I'll tell you how I showed my displeasure. Can you, can you guess, can, can you guess how my displeasure showed? He probably wasn't like ranting and throwing stuff and ending up with having to shampoo my bed. I had to shampoo the bed. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, 
I, it's a good thing I own a shampooer because my animals are awful. They're awful. I spent two days before Diana arrived shampooing all of the carpets because kids and carpets and let's be honest, kids are gross and they will like lay all over everything and be all like, Bleh. so I decided I would shampoo all of the carpets upstairs and down. I have 2000 square feet, by the way, between the, well, it's 14 up and 14 down. So square feet and I shampooed it all. And then the day before Diana arrived, my dog, Satan's, Satan's dog pooped all over the living room downstairs, but not just like in one spot. Cause you could like, you could like totally pull up a patch and poop on it, but no, you have to like poop in five different spots. And then also, because you're probably going to get in trouble for pooping in the house. If you could just like squeeze yourself between the wall and the giant planter and poop some in there. Aces, dude. Aces. And it, the convenience of doing it the day after I finished all of the shampooing, like, that's poetic justice. Like, right there. Like, you can't get better timing than that, girl. It was fresh. That was fresh pooping spots. Like... If you ain't never pooped somewhere fresh before, <laughs> you just wait until those carpets are all freshly cleaned. Pooparama, just saying, lots of fun. It, it also was very runny and she rubbed it everywhere because, thank you. These, these are the things I don't usually share with you guys. You didn't know what I was doing that two days. I'm sorry. I didn't really mean to ruin it for you like that. But also, sidebar, she pooped in my living room yesterday and I had a shampoo. So this is not stopping anytime soon. We've had this dog a long time. She just likes to poop in the house. Like, she doesn't have any good reason for it. She just, it's cold outside. I guess I'm gonna put that out there and I'm gonna say it's too cold outside to poop outside. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just poop in the house and take what trouble I get. Do you know how cold it is out there? You know how you freeze your bits out there? But she's just willing to take the trouble instead. And I guess it's a gamble you take, dog. It is a gamble you take. So, I'm going to sign out with you guys. It's time for me to go pick up Jacob. We're going to get our taco song back so we can dance a little bit. Because, hello, taco song and dancing. So, I'm going to have to look that up again um, while I'm just chatting here to sign out and I want to remind you guys um, tomorrow is the very first episode of doctor in the house on keto for real life people so it's going to be a brand new feature that Nancy is doing it's going to be I believe it's only going to be every other week and it's just a 15 20 minute feature and this week's first ever special guest is Dr. Nadir. So you don't want to miss that. You want to, if you guys think that Jillian is wrong, then you want to hear it from the experts and you can go hang out with Nancy and you can meet Dr. Nadir. He's awesome. He has a really cool accent, by the way, just saying hashtag really cool accent. I like accents. I like them all. <laughs> So, let's get us our taco song. But don't forget to go hang out with Nancy tomorrow. And she goes live only from Facebook. So you guys will not get her on Instagram. You gotta go to her Facebook public page, Keto for Real Life People. And you'll be able to watch it there. So, um, I'm going to make a post on Instagram so that you guys know where to find it. I will be shared on my public page in all of my groups. It'll be everywhere. But if you guys don't want to wait and watch it on the replay, go check out Nancy's page and you can watch it tomorrow and be there or be square, baby. Okay, taco song. And then also I need to do this again because holy man, this cold is, this is not attractive, like even a little bit. But you know what? My gosh, I'm sexy. 
Yeah, he has a broken tooth right now, so he's got no room to complain. <gasps> Why would Bacon do this? Bacon broke his tooth. He had a very badly damaged tooth, and we were making bacon the other day, which, by the way, never happens fast. I came in at 4 o'clock, and I was like, oh, we'll have a quick bacon snack. 6 o'clock, we were eating bacon. Thank you very much, bacon. I still love you. I still love you. Don't hate me. Um, but he was eating the bacon, and he was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was a piece of my tooth. So then he went in, and he was like, uh-oh. And then he kept eating it, and the tooth kept breaking. Because <laughs> like, bacon is that good, let's be honest. Like, let's be honest for two seconds. He was not going to stop eating the bacon. He still ate the bacon. Because it's not bacon's fault. It is not bacon's fault. Don't blame the bacon. Don't blame bacon. It's not bacon's fault. The bacon didn't do it. So let's get our taco song. And we got to get the two times speed because in all honesty, now that I've heard the two times speed, the one time one is just lame. It's like, it's like a slow dance. Boo. Boo. So lame. Okay. Let's get us some volume. I got me hooked in here sideways from how I normally do. Cause why wouldn't I? Yeah. I'm super smooth. surprise it's getting over the hump day tune in see what we're gonna do tomorrow it's gonna be awesome bye guys <laughs>